What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, retired, legendary, iconic, Hall of Fame superstar boxer, Iron Mike Tyson, who at one point in time was perceived to be the baddest man on the planet back in the 80s and early 90s. Iron Mike Tyson, he's now retired, and he is uh, uh, he does podcasts and he does other ventures. And uh, I am Mike Tyson, he finished his career 50 wins, 6 losses, no draws, 44 wins by way of knockout. Five times in his career, he was knocked out 5 foot 10 with a 71 inch arm reach. The last time we saw him in an official boxing match was June of 2005 when he lost to uh, Kevin McBride. With that said, I am Mike Tyson was recently uh, on his podcast and he stated that. Uh, he had some very, very interesting things to say. And if you listen to him as of late, it sounds like he feels like he's running out of time, right? And um, Mike Tyson has never been a settled soul, okay? And uh, Mike Tyson is a, seems to be a person that's always seeking out peace, but having a hard time finding it. So he recently had a therapist on his show, and he told the therapist on his show that, you know, uh, he looked in the mirror and he feels like his expiration time is coming very, very soon. Uh, he states that, you know, uh, he knows that everybody has to eventually transition. Uh, and he stated that he looks at these dots on his face. Uh, and he says that he looks at himself and he says, wow, my expiration is coming very, very soon. Okay. And uh, he's 56 years of age currently right now. Uh, he just turned 56 uh, June 30th. You know, uh, he's relatively young. But again, this is sad. You know, uh, when I hear Mike Tyson talk a lot, you know, he's entertaining to many people. Uh, but he's just being himself. And uh, Mike Tyson, uh, he can come across as entertaining. Some people think he's uh, scary. Some people think that he's unapproachable. Some, think, some people feel like he's a teddy bear, you know. Um, but what I can say, just from listening and talking to Mike Tyson and my take, is that he just seems to be an unsettled soul. Somebody who's always seeking out peace and can't find it. You know, uh, he finds it in, you know, uh, his cannabis use, right? Um, it calms him down. Uh, and so recently he had on uh, Keenan and Kel on his show. And uh, he was telling, you know, um, the brother how, you know, uh, he's not a good person, you know, uh, and... You know, uh, he don't view himself as, you know, a great person, so on and so forth. And, you know, uh, Kenan and Kel was telling him, you know, no, I, I view you as a king and so on and so. And, uh, you know, I view you in high regards and a legend. And he was telling him, you can't tell me how to view myself. You can't tell me how to uh, see myself. Um, and so um, he was self-proclaiming himself the N-word. Uh, uh, and a piece of, you know, um, you could fill in the, the rest. And, uh, you know, he was saying that's, uh, Kenny and Kel was telling him, you know, that's, that's pretty sad that you view yourself in that manner. Uh, and he was saying, no, it's not, you know. Um, and then, you know, uh, to have the therapist on, and now he's saying that he feels like uh, his expiration date is coming very soon, and he's looking at the dots, and, you know, um, we know he's been through a lot of struggles in his life. Uh, we know through ups and downs in his career, you know, um, he had a lot of outbursts. Uh, those are cry for helps. Uh, if you listen to his story when he was a youth, uh, they were cry for helps. Right. Um, and you know, he took comfort in his pigeons, you know, um, birds and, you know, uh, you know, uh, that was his comfort zone outside of the sport of boxing. And I believe the sport of boxing was just a form of control chaos for Mike Tyson, right? Where he can, you know, um, release all that he's feeling, uh, but not get in trouble for it. Okay. Um, but a lot of times as he grew in his career and, uh, he ran up against guys that didn't fear him. Uh, many people, they already previously, uh, were nervous before they even got in the ring. And so he beat them outside this outside the ring. Uh, but once he, progressed in his career, especially after he had to go sit down from, you know, some incidents that took place. And you look at his situation with Don King, uh, you look at his situation with, um, you know, his ex-wife and, uh, you know, um, 
and just relationships with women overall, allegedly, you know, uh, the Robin Givens uh, relationship. You know, you look at these relationships and these things and uh, you just see it. It's just an unsettled soul, right? Uh, somebody who can't, you know, um, grasp and control, you know, uh, who they want to be and how they want to be, right? Um, and so it's truly unfortunate because he truly is a legend. You know, uh, it really touched me when he had that Keenan and Kel interview when Kel was trying to explain to him that he's a legend and he holds him in high regards and he was just saying, no, no, I'm not. And you can't tell me, you can't convince me that I am. I'm not a king, I'm not a good person. And, you know, that's very, very, you know, um, touching, you know, um, because again, he says, and he talked about money and he said that, you know, um, money don't make you happy. You know, um, people see that I have money and people think that, you know, uh, I'm happy and I'm not, you know, um, again, it's like he's never had a s stable relationship with somebody who genuinely loved him. It almost comes across that way. It's like everybody was trying to, you know, uh, they had an agenda in their relationship with him. Um, I know he's previous, he's currently married now and it seems like he's happy in his relationship, but who knows what takes place behind the scenes. Uh, he has children, obviously that relationship, those relationships are genuine, hopefully, you know, uh, and I think he genuinely is a good person, right? Um, you can see after his fights, you know, uh, how he, um, welcomes and, you know, um, talks about and, uh, his approach to his opponents, you know, he really don't even want to hurt nobody. You know, he just, uh, has this, uh, uncontrollable chaos from within and he, you know, takes it out in the sport of, in, in the sport. And then it's like, um, it's like a relief, right? And so now he is truly himself afterwards and he's genuine and he's loving and, you know, uh, you see the post fight with Lennox Lewis and, and, and how he looks at a little man of Holyfield, you know, it's like, that's his release. It just happens to involve other human beings. Right. Uh, and he's not truly comfortable, um, with who he is, you know, uh, he's not truly comfortable with, you know, um, you know, uh, uh, I don't think he's, a, he, he wants to hurt people at all. I think when he looks at, uh, when he fights, he always says that, you know, he is, uh, um, he's nervous. He's, he's, uh, uh, you know, he, you know, he's, he's scared, you know, he's afraid. And, uh, you know, uh, that's what gets him the victory. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, that's what allows him to, you know, he, he learned how to channel it and he uses it as, um, motivation and energy, you know, uh, um, to be able to be victorious. But what happened a lot of times when fighters stood up to him, it's like he, he folded, right? Mentally, he checked out, you know, uh, you can see it in his fights. You can see when he's, you know, he's thinking he's, he's almost come back down to earth. Right. Uh, and you know, um, it's like, he's, 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 he's just unsettled. Right. And it's, it's truly sad and it's truly touching. Um, because I truly believe that he's a good person, right? Uh, outside of just being world famous, I am Mike Tyson. Uh, and a few situations I looked at and I said, man, to myself, there's no hesitation. Uh, for instance, when the gentleman um, at the comedy club uh, pulled the, the, the firearm and he just calmly approach the gentleman. Most people would panic. He didn't fear for himself because I don't think he cares. I don't think he truly cares of the outcome. So people looked at it and they say, man, Mike Tyson is brave. No, I think Mike Tyson is numbed. I don't think he cared so what the outcome would have been. It just happened to be, you know, uh, he came out on top. Right when he grabbed the guy and he hugged him, you know, uh, I think that he looks at himself and he says, it is, it's going to be what it's going to be. There's a lot of people that view it that way, you know, uh, 
and from as you grow in life, you know, um, and you become an adult, you 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 realize that that's inevitable, right? That's going to be the outcome. Everybody has to face that at some point in time. But, you know, I truly hope that he finds peace before that time comes. And I hope he's truly at peace now, you know, um, because he truly made a mark. Whether he feels like it's good, bad, or indifferent, he truly made a mark in the world. And uh, I truly hope that he understands and identifies just how many he, people he touched in a, in a positive way. So uh, hopefully he's completely incorrect. Uh, they don't happen anytime soon. I hope that it happens, you know, another 50 years from now, you know, when he's 106 years old. So, you know, um, reality is we all have to transition, but uh, it's just, you know, it's touching when you have somebody who just seems to never find happiness and peace and settle in their soul. I personally have a friend of mine that transitioned uh, and uh, he did it, you know, essentially. Uh, he was in control of the situation, if you understand what I'm talking about. And he reminded me a lot of Mike Tyson. An unsettled soul. But uh, that's all I got for y'all. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy, Blue. Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV. All one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire LDBC. Shout out to Black Media Row. Make sure you like and share these videos. That's all I got for y'all. Peace.